Good morning students and welcome back to my class. Today we will start a new chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variation. Children, have you ever wondered why an elephant gave birth to only a baby elephant? Why not some other animal? Or why a mango seed forms a mango tree and why not some other plant? The reason is inheritance. Now what is inheritance? The transmission of genetic traits from parents to the offspring is known as inheritance. Genes are present in long thread-like structure called chromosomes and chromosomes are present in the nucleus of a cell and is responsible for carrying the genetic information. Children, we all humans look similar. I mean to say the basic body design of all human beings are saved. Like we have one head, a pair of hands, a pair of legs, a pair of eyes, one nose and one mouth. But we all human beings are not exactly same in all aspects. For example, we have different hair color, different eye color, different shape of the nose and different physique. These differences are known as variation. We can define variation as the differences in the trait or characters among the individual of a species is called variation. Now you must be wondering what does this word species mean? You must have studied about this word in your ninth class. Species is a group of individuals that can reproduce with each other. For example, cat and humans are the two different species. Now let us discuss some causes of variation. The first reason is a very subtle change or error during DNA copying. We all know that children the reproducing cell produces two copies of its DNA. The one copy is sent to the daughter cell whereas the one copy of the DNA remains in the parent cell. So during the process of DNA copying, subtle change occurs in the DNA which causes variation. And the second reason which causes variation is Combination of two different genes. In sexual reproduction, we all know that the offspring carries half of the genetic material from its mother and half of the genetic material from its father. The combination of genes from two different individuals also creates newly differences. So these were few reasons which causes variation. Gregor Johann Mendel is known as father of genetics because he was the first person who has conducted a successful experiment to study inheritance. So he is known as father of genetics. Mendel has chosen pea plant also known as Pisum sativum for his experiment. There is several reasons why he has chosen pea plant. Let us discuss about them. The first reason why Mendel has chosen pea plant was short lifespan. So that he can study several generations in a short span of time. Second reason for selecting pea plant was it produces large number of seeds in one generation. Pea plant also shows wide variation which can be easily seen. Seven contrasting character of a pea plant which Mendel has chosen for his experiment was seed color, seed shape, Pot shape, pot color, color of flower, position of flower and stem height. These were the seven contrasting characters of a pea plant. 
studied by Mendel for his experiment. Now let us study about Mendel experiment in brief. Mendel has chosen two parent pea plant having contrasting height trait. That means one of the pea plant was having tall height whereas the other pea plant was having a dwarf height. What was unique about the parent pea plant was that these plants were from pure breed line. You must be hearing about this term first time. Now let me explain you what is pure breed line. Pure breed line are those plants in which from past 6 to 7 generation self pollination has taken place. That means in May 6 to 7 generation se cross pollination nahi hua rehta hai. Aur jitni baar bhi inho ne reproduce kiya hai wo kis method se kiya hai? By self pollination. And because of this they have stable inherited trait. As there is no mixing of genes the trait present in these plants are more stable. In ki jo inherited traits ya characters hote hain, wo zyada stable hote hain. Kyun hote hain beta? Kyunki in me self pollination hota hua aya hai. Or cross pollination me genes combinations new bante hain. Genes ke mixing hoti hain, jiske vajay se variation ya changes produce hote hain. But in plants me continuously self pollination hua hai. Isi liye in ke jo inherited traits hote hain, wo zyada stable hote hain. These plants are known as pure breed lines. Mendel now conducted an artificial hybridization which is similar to cross pollination but is controlled by humans. He took the pollen from anther of a flower and transferred it to the stigma of another flower. To prevent cell pollination he has removed the anther by emasculation. Mendel collected the seeds produced from this cross and grew them separately to form the first hybrid generation. The first hybrid generation is also known as filial generation 1 and is denoted by F1. What he has observed? He has observed that all the plants in F1 generation were having the same height. That means they all were tall in height. This shows that all the Individuals present in F1 generation have inherited or have expressed the trait of any one parent. Mendel then self pollinated F1 generation plants and was surprised to see that in F2 generation, three of the plants were having tall height, whereas one plant was having a drop height. Here in F2 generation, both the parents' trait were expressed. But in F1 generation, we have seen all the plants produced were showing the trait of any one parent. And we call this trait a dominant trait. We can see that dominant trait over here is tall height and recessive trait over here is drop height. And the genes responsible to produce tall height is a dominant gene. Whereas the gene responsible to produce drop height is known as recessive genes. The physical properties that can be easily seen, observed and studied are known as phenotype. For example, over here we have studied about height. And it is an example of phenotype. Whereas the gene makeup or expression producing this trait is known as genotype. Jo bhi physical traits study kiye ja sakte, easily dekhe ja sakte, unhe hum phenotype bolte. Aur ini phenotype ke liye jo gene responsible hoti hai, unko jis form mein ya pattern mein express kiya jata hai ya likha jata hai, usse hum bolte hai genotype. The genetic makeup. Responsible to produce a trait is known as genotype. We have studied children that an offspring contains half of the genes from its mother and half of the genes from its father. 
and hence the genes present in an offspring responsible to produce trait is present in a pair. Offspring may koi bhi a trait ke liye jo genes responsible hoti hai, wo bhi pair mein present hoti hai. Kyun hoti hai beta? Kyun ki do genes rehti hai unke paas, jo dono parents se aati hai, isi liye genes bhi offspring mein pairs mein present hoti hai. And the pair of genes which are similar to each other but are slightly different are called alleles. Why they are different beta? Kyunki wo do different parents se aa rahe hai. इसलिए अलील सेम या आइडेंटिकल नहीं होती हैं, ठीक है बेटा? थोड़ी से डिफरेंट होती हैं और इन्हें हम क्या बोलते हैं अलील्स। अलील्स आर प्रेजेंट इन पैर। एंड मोर कॉमनली वी कॉल इट जीन्स। सो जीन्स इज़ द इनहेरिटेंस यूनिट। नाउ सीट ओवर योर चिल्ड्रन। द प्लांट विच वाज हैविंग अ टॉल capital T and capital T whereas the genotype expression of drop height of another plant is expressed by writing small t and small t. Now one question why one genotype is written in capital letters whereas the other genotype expression is written in small letters. The reason is that Whatever the trait get expressed in F1 generation is a dominant trait. And over here, tall height is a dominant trait, whereas drop height is a recessive trait. So, dominant traits are always written in capital letters, whereas recessive traits are written in small letters. So, you will not forget that dominant traits are always in capital letters and recessive traits are always in small letters. You can choose the alphabet whatever you want. But to avoid confusion and make it easy, always choose the first letter of a dominant trait. Here the dominant trait is tall. Hai, so I have chosen letter T to write the genotypic expression of tall height. You can choose any alphabet to write the genotype expression. Ke liye. But we always try to choose the first letter. कि आप वही ट्रेड का फर्स्ट लेटर चूज करें जो डोमिनेंट हो इससे आप इजीली कोरिलेट कर सकते हो उस कैरेक्टर को लेके हियर आई हैव रिटन टीटी एज अ डोमिनेंट ट्रेड ऑफ टॉल हाइट तो आप इजीली देख सकते हो कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी मींस टॉल हाइट स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी मींस ड्रॉप हाइट लेटर या अल्फाबेट कोई भी हो बट इट शुड बी कॉमन फॉर डोमिनेंट एज वेल एज फॉर रिसेसिव कॉमन लेटर होना चाहिए रिसेसिव के लिए भी और डोमिनेंट के लिए भी और जब आप डोमिनेंट के लिए लिखेंगे तो वो कैपिटल में होगा और जब रिसेसिव के लिए लिखेंगे तो वो स्मॉल लेटर्स में होगा दिस इज द ओनली डिफरेंस सो कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी इज अ जीनोटाइपिक एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ टॉल हाइट वेयर एज स्मॉल टी एंड स्मॉल टी इज द जीनोटाइपिक एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ड्रॉप हाइट चिल्ड्रन सीट ओवर योर टॉल प्लांट is having identical alleles. Can you see capital T and capital T? Both are identical to each other. This type of allele is known as homozygous allele. We can say that tall plant is having homozygous alleles. Whenever I say homozygous, that means both the alleles will be identical. The other plant, drop plant, is also having an identical allele. Can you see it over here? Small t and small t. Both are identical to each other. This type of allele is known as homozygous. Even the drop plant is having homozygous alleles. What is the reason behind it? That the parents are having homozygous allele? The reason is self-pollination. Just now we have studied that Mendel has chosen P plant from pure breed line. Jin mein self-pollination continuously ho raha tha past 6 to 7 generation. And because there was no mixing of genes, the allele present in these plants were homozygous. Plants produced by cross-pollination in F1 generation were having same phenotype character. That means all the plants produced in F1 generation was having tall height. As it is a cross-pollination, combination of the genes will take place. So, the genotype of 
tall tree is capital T and small t. As these are not identical to each other and are slightly different, this type of allele combination is known as heterozygous. We can say that tall plant produced in F1 generation have heterozygous alleles. F1 generation ke plants may beta heterozygous allele present hote hain. Kyun hote hain beta? Kyunki jo bhi F1 mein plants produce hue hain, wo cross pollination se hue hain. Jahan pe two different genes coming from two different parents are combining. So heterozygous allele for tall high trait is capital T and small t. Capital T tall parent se aaya hai aur small t allele Trop parents se aaya hai. Aur ye dono jub combine huye hai F1 generation ki progenies mein. To is type ki allele combination ko hum bolte hai heterozygous allele. Whereas the phenotype of all the plant produced in F1 generation was same. That means all the plants were tall. And were having the same genotype expression. That is capital T and small t. Or heterozygous combination. Mendel then self-pollinated tall plants of F1 generation. Now let us understand the genotype of F2 generation plants by Pudit Square. It is a graphical presentation which shows the possible genotype expression of traits produced by F2 generation progenies. It is called Punit Square because it was discovered by a British scientist known as C. Punit. Punit Square graphical presentation hai jo F2 generation mein train express huye hai unka genetic expression show karne ke liye. See it over here children. We all know that in cell pollination fertilization occurs. So, when the T genes of female gamete combines with the T genes of the male gamete, the genotype produced is capital T and capital T. As capital T is a dominant allele or dominant gene, so the phenotype will be tall. Then again, capital T of a female gamete fuses with the small t of male gamete. After the fusion or fertilization, the genotype expression form was capital T and small t. Again, as capital T is present over here, which is a dominant allele or a dominant gene, the phenotype will be tall. Then, small t allele of female gamete fuses with the capital T of male gamete. The combination form is capital T and small t. Again, dominant allele is present. That means the phenotype will be tall. Now, small t allele of female gamete combines with the small t allele of male gamete. The combination form is small t and small t. As there is no dominant allele, what will be the phenotype? Recessive phenotype will be expressed. That is drop. So, the height of the plant will be drop. Remember children, whenever capital T is mentioned in genotype expression, that means the phenotype produced will be dominant. Capital T dominant gene ko represent karti hai, dominant allele hai. Ye kisi bhi allele ki combination mein aayega, to phir jo bhi phenotype express hooga, wo hamisha dominant hooga. Yaha pe jo drop plant produce hua hai, उनमें जीनोटाइप एक्सप्रेशन में डोमिनेंट जीन एब्सेंट है इसीलिए जो हाइट एक्सप्रेस हुई है वो रिसेसिव ट्रेड है दैट इज ड्रॉप हाइट और अगर डोमिनेंट अली प्रेजेंट होगा जीन कॉम्बिनेशन में तब फिनोटाइप हमेशा डोमिनेंट ही रहेगा ये पॉइंट भी आपको ध्यान में रखना है वन मोर पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर चिल्ड्रन व्हेनेवर यू राइट जीनोटाइप एक्सप्रेशन Always write dominant allele first and then the recessive allele. Kabhi bhi genotype expression likhte work recessive gene ki allele ko pehle nahi likha jata hai. Small t capital T is a wrong way to write genotype. 
capital T and small t is the correct way to write the genotype expression. Heterozygous allele में हमेशा आप ये ध्यान रखेंगे कि dominant allele पहले लिखेंगे और recessive allele उसके बाद में लिखेंगे. That's all for today, children. We will be covering the remaining topic in our coming video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.